Carlos Alcaraz versus Daniel Medvedev is the second semi-final for the Men's US Open for 2023. And both have had impressive roads to get to this stage. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number three seed and will take on Balash in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-1, 6-1, 6-love. In the second round, he'd take on O'Connell. And after dropping the third set, would run away with it in the fourth. 6-2, 6-2, 6-7, 6-2, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Baez. And after a close third set, Medvedev would get through in straights. 6-2, 6-2, 7-6. -6. In the fourth round, he'd take on Demonor, a man he'd lost to the two previous meetings, including one a couple of weeks ago in Canada. And after dropping the first set, Medvedev would fight back to win 2-6, 6-4, 6-1, 6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev would take on the number eight seed, Rublev, who he'd played a million times before, both in juniors and in the main tour. This is no problem for Medi, getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-3, 6-4, to advance to another semi-final at the US Open. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Kopfer in the first round. But after the first set, Kopfer would have to retire injured, giving Alcaraz the win, 6-2, 3-2, retirement. In the second round, he'd take on Harris. And after a close third set, Alcaraz would get through in straights, 6-3, 6-1, 7-6. In the third round, he'd take on the 26 seed, Dan Evans, a man that he'd beaten earlier in the year. But after dropping the third set, Alcaraz would fight back to win, 6-2, 6-3, 4-6, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Arnaldi, who had taken out Nori in the previous round. But the experience of Alcaraz was too good, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3, 6-4, -3 to advance to another US Open quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number 12 seed, Zverev who had just taken out Yannick Sinner in a five-set, four-hour match two nights ago. And the wear and tear showed, with Alcaraz winning in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2, 6-4, to advance to back-to-back -back semi-finals at the US Open. These guys have played three times before, with Alcaraz leading the head-to-head 2-1, -head including a match at Indian Wells in March on the hard courts. That was actually the final, and Alcaraz won that one in straight sets. They also played at Wimbledon in the semi-finals a couple of months ago. Again, straight sets for Alcaraz. If Medvedev is going to win this one, he needs to serve big, and he needs to be aggressive. We know that Alcaraz is going to be probably doing drop shots and all that kind sort of fancy stuff that he does when he has played Medvedev lately. Medvedev needs to stand a little closer to the baseline so he doesn't get exposed by the volleys and the drop shots that Alcaraz is going to do. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to push Medvedev around and, of course, come to the net, drop shot, volley, all those things that we've seen him do against Medvedev in the past. He just seems to cut Medvedev to pieces and we've seen Medvedev vulnerable against those type of players, and Alcaraz seems to do it the best. I feel like a lot of people are writing Medvedev off in this one and thinking that Alcaraz is just going to walk up to the final, but I reckon Medvedev is going to make him work. I still think Alcaraz is going to win, though, in five sets, but I think Medvedev is going to be much better than he was back at Wimbledon and also back at Indian Wells on a slower court. This is a faster court, and I think Medvedev is going to learn from his mistakes at Wimbledon, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.